Yo guys, what is going on? Finally got a box opening for BT8 New Awakening. I'm super excited to finally crack this open. Also got a couple of pre-release packs since uh, my source pre-release is going on right about now. But let, let's go ahead and get into it. There's so many cards. I'm excited to hopefully try to pull from this set. We got Black War Greymon, one of my absolute favorite decks ever. Shivamon I've been messing around with too. Uh, shout out to Huang Zuri, thinks that card sucks. And lots of other cool stuff, Vimon, Armor Rush. Uh, unfortunately, don't have these star decks yet, so no Imperial and Maskmon as, uh, as, as far as uh, like right now goes. But uh, so for our box topper, we got Cody Hida. And then we also get these uh, Arrow Vidramon zero promos with, I believe, the all four zeros in the back somewhere. Um, so that's kind of cool, but uh, oh yeah, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So hopefully what I really want to try to pull is an Imperial Dramon Paladin mode for the Seek Rare. I'm not a big fan of Creepy Mon, so honestly... I don't pull that guy, I'm, I'm not complaining, but uh, as far as alt arts, of course, Black War, Greymon, Shivamon, like I said. Also, the armor alt arts look really, really cool, so even like Flame Dramon, Rapidmon, Magna, I think those cards are definitely um, stuff to look out for. So we got Candlemon, Captain Hookmon, Catch Mamimon, uh, lots of cool Mamimon cards in this set. Psychmon, a new Floodgate, and another new Floodgate, Kokuamon, the black one there. Surfimon, 13,000 vanilla there. Cherubimon, uh, Rasenmon, Fury Mode, Gurimon, and Frost Velgamon for a rare. And then Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, the cover card right off the bat. So that is really cool. This guy, although I'm not a big fan of the Imperial Dramon deck, I am a huge fan of Fighter and Paladin Mode just from like an aesthetic standpoint and from like a lore perspective. I think uh, Paladin Mode and Fighter Mode are so, so cool, and I'm glad they did them justice in BT8. Gave them a lot of really cool support cards. Uh, got Pistmon, new Digisorption Digimon, another Catch Mamimon, uh, Marsmon, I think this guy's Olympus 12, right? Yeah, another Olympus 12 there, Plasma Shot, Terriermon, Agumon, nice, and then our Sylphimon, uh, Agumon plus Sylphimon for our rare. So Sylphimon, really, really powerful DNA Digivolution Digimon. Uh, oh, by the way, actually, I haven't opened my pre-release packs. What am I doing? Let's go ahead and open these before we get into the rest of the box just to see what we can get. I'm not actually too sure what we can pull out of here. Ooh, Terriermon is nice for the Rapid Mon deck. And Frost Velgamon. I don't think this guy is that playable. You guys let me know if you think he's cool. But uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of the freezing cards in general. Uh, not sure if that's going to be played in Blue Hybrid at all. But, uh, yeah, so we got... Uh, Pandemonium Flame, I like this card a lot, it's pretty cool. And a Shakuamon pre-release, ooh, that's really nice. I like Shakuamon a lot. Um, the unfortunate thing is with the rares that are a pre-release stamp, I don't think it's a much of a big like upgrade because they're already hollow to begin with. I do like how they give the pre-release treatment to a lot of like uh, commons and uncommons, though. So we got uh, Hookmon, a blue-black Digimon, lots of dual colors, Spinomon there for uh, Christmas players. Fangmon, Disaster Blaster, Frozomon, I think this guy's hilarious. Pulse one, uh, Innocence Blizzard, Kari, which I believe one of my friends pointed out to me. I believe this is the first tamer that has ever been printed as a common or a uncommon, I, I should say, as a non-rare, I want to say. So if I'm wrong on that, please correct me, but I think it looks really, really weird because of that. Uh, we got Halsemon and Metal Greymon for our rares there. Let's get into the next pack. All right, Ultimate Brachiumon. This guy is awesome. Red and black dual color. There, Ginryumon, Solmon, Aquilamon, Dramoji, and Kilamon. Uh, Snow Agumon, Cyclomon for the Black War Gray deck. Yarimon, Armadillomon. Love this guy. Climon. This is my first Climon I pulled. I opened another box that I didn't get any of him. So Climon, really happy to have him for the Shivamon deck. And of course, the Giga Death, the Nidhog option card. Not sure how much that card is played, but it is. Really, really powerful regardless. We got a Greymon here, Scorpiomon, Beetle Gamimon. Shout out to uh, Shoutmon there. We got a champion with Blitz now. Uh, this is Senbon Dokkan. That card's really cool. Black Gatamon, Samadhi Santi. I like this card a lot. Uh, this is a, yeah, this is a Shivamon card. Banchamon and an Ophanimon, a fall down mode for our second super rare so far. Let's put these right here. I like that card. Oh, that's another alt art I want to pull is the Ophanimon fall down alt art. Dude, I, I absolutely love the alt art. There's something about, there's just something about Ophanimon, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Exermon, Frozenmon, Top Gun, interesting, Pandemonium Flame, Namekemon, Vmon, Ryudamon, and another Shakuamon. So, so far, only two supers so far. Haven't pulled our alt arts yet. Thundermon, this card is treated as a Mamimon. Betsumon, I think this guy's hilarious. Lightning Blade, Hookmon, Disaster Blaster. 
Pistimon, Bibimon, that'll definitely be useful. Dino Humon, Skull Knightmon, Cavalier, but I did not know this was a card. This is going to definitely go into my Dark Knight deck. And then Flame Hellside plus Black War Greymon. Actually, this morning they announced an errata for this guy. It's actually a mistranslation. His unsuspend effect is optional, it's not mandatory. So that's a really, really cool buff that this deck got. Black War Greymon, man. I, as much as I do enjoy the alt art of this card, I think there's something about like the way he's just like charging up that dark guy for so it looks so sick. Mist Memory Boost, Patamon. By the way, this card is so hilarious, man. He just looks like a balloon in the artwork. Sylphimon and a Shivamon. Prepare to be enlightened, bro. Look at this card. Shivamon is such a cool card. I absolutely love his evolution line and really, really big fan of his effect. Locks your opponent out of option cards. Really, really powerful against certain decks. And of course, trashing the top card of security is really crazy as well. Another Fury Mode, Hiro Amanokawa, and, and a Zulongmon. This is Zulongmon, unfortunately not as crazy as the uh, like the blue one, the pure blue one. You guys know what I mean, but he has a Blinding Ray on attack. This is kind of cool. Maybe we'll see some play there. Alright, I think I saw Hollow back there. Ginryumon, Fire Rocket, and Kilomon, Hookmon, Pistmon, Elekmon, Samadhi Santi. Armadillomon, Azulong, and an Altar Oriumon. Dude, this looks absolutely crazy. Look at that. I had no idea he was so big. I, I'm i not sure who... I think that's like Gallimon or something. You guys, let me know if you know who what card this... What Digimon is. It kind of looks like Gallimon to me, but I'm not sure. Regardless, this guy is absolutely crazy. That is a keep for sure. That card looks so sick. I'm a big fan of the XAMD body uh, archetype kind of uh, deck that we've been getting support for. For BT7, 8, and uh, 9, I guess we get more support. BT9, of course, being X record as well. So that'll definitely be really cool. And right, last pack of the first half of the box. Already pulled our alt art. I kind of do hope we get uh, our secret rare instead of another alt art. Um, but if it's something cool like an Oriumon, I'm definitely open to pulling like a black or gray or something. Alright, let's get into the uh, next half of the box. Mist Memory Boost, that card's really cool. Musketeers. Hisaryumon, Gazimon, Pandemonium Flame, which, by the way, this card is a Trump Sword in security. Kind of wild. Gazimon and a Dark Guy Force. Really, really powerful card there. Skull Satamon, Patamon again. Senbon Dokkan, Exermon, Skull Knightmon. Plasma Shot Climb- I had an Imperial Trump Paladin mode! Oh my lord! Look at this guy, I don't know if you guys can see the actual texturing on him, there's so much detail here. I absolutely love this all artwork. I'm not a big fan of the alt art of this card, but man oh man does that look sick. Okay, we have already got a pretty stacked box here. Alt art, Oryu plus Imperial Drummond Paladin mode. I really could not ask for anything better. Surfmon. So I think now we're just looking for a couple of hollows, and there's one of our super rares that is a Rapidmon. A little bit bummed out I didn't pull a alt art Rapidmon, as that is probably my favorite alt art like in the set. But definitely can't complain with these crazy pulls. Armor texture, Philemon, Kari again. The uncommon Kari is so weird. Ken and Davis plus Malamiotismon for our super rare. This guy's really. I just love how like he's just T posing, bro. He, he just looks like he has so much swag in this in this picture like he's just the ultimate chad bro please someone come up with a good list for this deck because now my Otismon is really really cool snow agumon pulsemon graymon demi miramon marsmon digimon emperor plus flame health site all right just six packs left to go soulmon hisaru top gun Realistic, I think we only got a couple more supers left to pull. Oh, I think this is our f first uh, Willis out of this box. He's a really cool card for the uh, kind of Terriermon stuff they're doing, which definitely will get more support. I believe we get more, uh, yeah, we get tons of more Gargomons and like Terriers and, and stuff next set out of uh, EX2. Uh, Hero and Chimeramon, first one of this as well. Really, really powerful super rare right here. The DNA Digivolution. Um, Ba basically a super glue right there, so uh, Chimera One's a really, really awesome card. Lightning Blade, uh, Lekmon, Fire Rocket, Pissmon, Vmon. I think, is this an uncommon? Yeah, I haven't pulled too many of those Vmons. Myotismon and Yuji Musia. Oh, I'm wondering why they spelled his name like that. It's kind of interesting. Panamon, Simon Dokkan, Skull Sadamon, Cherubi, 
Fremon Fury Mode, Yoli plus Cody. All right, just three more packs left to go. What else can we possibly pull from this? Ultimate Brachiomon, already a good start. I wonder if those cards will see play like the, uh, is this suit? No, this is a rare. Uh, I wonder if the dual colored 13,000 Megas will see play. Like, I, I know back in like the early days of Digimon, the two cost vanillas that were 12k, like Ho Oman, Plesio, were seeing a lot of play. Um, but I'm honestly not sure about these ones. 13,000 is pretty big, but I think the game is past like relying on vanillas at this point. But maybe there's some cool dual color shenanigans that we can uh, pull off. Fire Rocket, Pissmon. Samerimon, Demimera, Digmon, and Flame Hellside for our last pack. So guys, that is going to do it for this box opening. Let's go ahead and look at our pulls real quick. Got Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, Chimeramon, of course, Malamiotismon, Rapidmon, Shiva, Black or Gray, Ophanimon Fall Down Mode, and then of course our two major pulls, the Alta Orimon plus the Imperial Jamon Paladin Mode. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what cards you are looking forward to getting out of BT8. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.